Well, welcome back to the farm. We have some exciting stuff going on in the episode today. We are going to be getting everything set up. We're finishing up getting stuff paved. We get what we need cleared. And we're going to be getting our houses, our house and our uh, garages and, and uh, sheds and things like that set up today. And we'll be continuing working on the farms, moving some logs. Right now I'm getting the truck moved over so we can uh, unhook it and we're going to grab our log truck and pick up all these logs I've got around. Uh, off camera I had been doing a lot of uh, uh, cutting trees and stuff so we've got them spread out throughout the, the area so we're going to go grab our trailer right now and going to get that hooked up and and send that off to the lumber yard. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. I will talk to you in the comments. Well, the trailer does have a lot, little more room on it, so let's grab the cutter here and we'll go cut another tree. At least get a little bit more on it. The lumber yard is pretty far away from my land, so to send a truck to make it worth it, you want to have it full. So let's go grab another tree.
sent up to sell this dirt. Set the 
trail. I put it wide enough apart so that I wouldn't have them running into each other. That would have been a pain. But we're gonna get this truck back to the Okay, here's what we've been waiting for, construction. Now that we got our land cleared and paved, we're gonna jump into our construction menu and see what we can put down to make this place functional and look good at the same time. There's gonna be a lot of detailing to do throughout the series. There's some of the garages that are offered. Let's see, farmhouses. We got this big house or a little log cabin. I think that's what I'm going to go with. It's a lot less expensive, seeing we don't have that much money anymore. And we need that money for getting equipment to make money. So let's uh, stick with the smaller cabin, which I wouldn't mind having in you know real life either. I don't like a real huge house. All I need is a kitchen, a bathroom, a living room, and a bedroom that fits 128 inch TV <laughs> and my computer and I'm happy uh, we can only have one house on the property so that tent that we've got for sleeping in is gonna have to go first the doors. <laughs> Can't even really tell where the doors are at on this one. Keep looking. 
nice barn. This would be pretty good for parking our trucks in. And we can put park next to it too. And it's a little bit older fashioned looking barn, so kinda goes with it. Here we go. And now let's grab that garage for next to the cabin. I wanted to look through my options before I just grabbed it. Yeah, right around in here should be good. It's a good spot. 
Now we have to watch out for the dog because he likes to go and, or she likes to run out in front of the trucks, tractors and stuff. Yeah, we got fences. I'm not sure what else is there for decoration. Well, we'll do some fencing and things like that once we get the yard put in. Gotta get grass eventually and some trees and stuff like that. Put down the sidewalk to the cabin. Yeah, we'll mess around with that a little bit. And I'll be right back with you. Well, the ground in front of our garage is a little bit uneven, so let's bring our truck in here and kind of flatten this ground out a little bit. Yeah, see, it's quite a bit of a bump going up in there. We put this in, set it to flat ground. It should level it to be flat with the front of the garage. I messed around a little bit with some of the auto drive. I've got the trucks with set with the parking spots inside that garage off to the side there. And I'm putting gravel now. That's why it looks different than the asphalt that was down the cement. Yeah, see, it's doing a pretty good job making sure it goes right straight in instead of being a big hill. out of it can't be an expensive area 
seeing it only have $62,000 left right now. But, we will see. I could take a loan too. I guess that could be something I could do. And then, once I'm bringing in the money from whatever everybody wants to see, that's what we will pay it back then. Okay, we got our truck clean. Let's go get these doors open. take a step back and take a look at all of our work. It's been a lot. <laughs> Had to get this ground all cleared, trees cut, hauling off that, all that dirt. It's kind of a neat looking thing. We've still got a ton of work to do, like decorating and things like that. Eh, can't get past my truck. <laughs> yeah, oh, let's see. Run over this way. Let's go back out. I want to get over away from it a little bit so we can kind of see all of that silo and then the mountains in the background. And once we get the trees, it's going to look a whole lot better. I want to just like almost turn into a forest around the, around the house, but not to interfere with our, you know, truck routes and things like that. Head into our cabin. Perfect. Oh, look at that wall right there. Put a TV the whole size of that wall and it'll be perfect. And the cabin's got our, that's for uh, changing our clothes and for sleeping. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. You have a great rest of your day. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and watching one of my videos. 
If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know exactly when the next video comes out. I do offer a wide range of different kinds of videos, so check out the playlist and you might find something else that you like other than this kind of video you watched today. Thank you so much. Comment down below what you thought or just say hi. Have a great rest of your day.